Your social media today, your oh. email, TV, it's impossible to really miss that it is Cyber Monday. It feels like every company <laughs> with whom you have ever interacted is Sends trying to entice messages. you. Yes, you have to spend more money, otherwise you can't save any money. Why is it so hard to resist some of those deals? Well, experts say you can blame your brain. We're emotional creatures in these stores and these um, companies know what they're doing to stir that up. Designated shopping days like Black Friday or Cyber Monday can be especially tempting, says Dr. Matthew Sacco, a psychologist at the Cleveland Clinic. Ultimately, the, the one neurotransmitter that is probably um, most to blame, if you will, for this kind of phenomenon is, is the rush and the, the flood of dopamine that we get, which is kind of that, um, it, it really hits that kind of feel good and, and you know, that instantaneous kind of um, desire. He says there are a lot of psychological factors at play, including the fear of missing out. There's also the rush of buying something that is presented as being in limited supply. It's hard because uh, what you're really talking about is fighting this uphill battle of the in the moment and then um, the realization that uh, you know, maybe you, you didn't need that and feeling some of that guilt that, that sets in. Um, and, that, and that can be challenging for some people, probably more um, when you start looking at the impact that it can have on someone's finances. People who are struggling with depression or anxiety may be particularly vulnerable to overspending. To reduce the risk, Dr. Sacco recommends creating a plan and setting a budget. And it can also help to find a frugal friend to keep you accountable. If you know yourself to be a little vulnerable to these kinds of things, that's the kind of person you might want to... Um, pick their brain or invite along. So um, having a plan, having a budget, and having a friend are really, really uh, good ways to keep yourself um, on, on budget, on target. Now, Dr. Sacco says if you wound up buying something you really didn't need and you are experiencing remorse, don't beat yourself up. Start, of course, by seeing if you can return it. If not, consider selling it to recoup some of that money.